Hello guys, what is going on? Canman and Zen here and today we are bringing you what we hope to be a comprehensive DKS guide uh, going over the basic inventory setups and gear needed to tactics. So as you can see on screen now, here is the uh, menu where you can choose which sections you want to go to. So throughout the video you can come back to this menu and uh, yeah, if you want to, if you guys want to choose whichever part to uh, to go to, uh, you can do that now, or you can just uh, continue watching the video to go in order. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Oh, and just one thing: if the the mic quality uh, is sometimes not uh, very good, we apologize for that. But uh, that's still something we are trying to get sorted. So yeah, I hope you guys can uh, cope with that if it's not good. And uh, yeah, hello guys, what is going on? Kaman here, and uh, I am with Zen, and we are bringing you a new guide. And this guide will be a DKS guide. And um, yeah, so to start it off, you'll need nothing to go to DKS, there aren't any restrictions enforced by the game. But all you'll need if you haven't done the Framinic Trials quest is 1k GP to travel to Waterbirth Island where the DKS are situated. Yeah, and uh, the stats we recommend, these are the minimum stats, and normally uh, they are kind of massy stats because DKS has become a lot harder. Basically they are 70 plus defense, 70 plus in the style you're using, 70 plus constitution, 60 plus prayer, and 52 summoning for the terror bird. Yep, and also it's a very hard boss, and you stand a very high chance of dying, especially if you're going in a smaller team, so it's recommended to have a good internet connection because you can get back, but it does take a while, so you also want a good grave. And it's recommend, recommended not to solo unless you're quite experienced. Three man is best, um, or more, because you can, one person can provoke each king, we'll come on to the tactics later. And a duo is probably better for a little more experienced pair of people. Uh, for example, me and Ken will be going now. Yeah. And it's recommended to be reasonably confident with using abilities. And the minimum cash required for buying supplies, I'd say, is about 3 to 5 mil, looking more at the 5 mil side, and that's the minimum required for, I don't know, say, massing or something. So yeah, that's it for this section. Okay guys, so for the second section of the guide, we will be looking at summoning. And for the higher levels, uh, this would be mainly solos or duos, I recommend first having a yak due to the fact that you can take a lot of food with you or a lot of supplies with you and also the helpful banking ability. Second I'd say you can use the steel titan because of the high damage output you get from it and thirdly the unicorn because of the good healing and finally I'd say that the minimum is a war tortoise because uh, for a high level uh, uh, for a high level trip even uh, you will need some supplies uh, to last it out yep and that was best to worst so yak would be the best one to take and tortoise would be the worst one but it does really depend on your experience as well now for high, bigger teams that is three man or above this includes massing the, from best to worst you would want to take the order that we just said and then the minimum for this section would be a terror bird because for a mass you don't really need that many supplies you don't really take that much damage so for for a mass uh, the minimum you want is a terror bird and also it has a useful spec which can restore a run energy uh, when you're going to decay through the caves which will drain your run energy quite a bit so yeah guys so best is yak worst is terror bird and if you're pro, you want to use a titan. Hello guys, so welcome to the section of the guide where I talk about gear setups. Now, the first uh, section of this section is talking about the solo and duo setups. And n here, uh, you will want to try it because if you're solo and duoing, you can't really survive just using one style, so you want to be tri along with your teammate. Um, and at least one of you has to be a high level, otherwise you stand no chance of surviving. So, firstly, onto the melee setup. Now, before you go onto that, the aura is really important. Penance is an extremely good aura because it 
restores 20% of your prayer and you take a lot of damage so it's really good there uh, the cape well you want to be using the same cape for all three styles and skill capes are now really good for that so you want to be using a skill cape or you know a max cape or a completionist cape if you have that um, and it's a bit of a hassle to keep switching and if you're using a good uh, bow which I'll come on to you don't need arrows so you won't be using arrows I mean so you can you won't need arrows device so you can use this uh, good uh, Amulet is Fury, all three styles, so you don't need to switch that either. And the ring and the gloves as well, you don't need to switch if you bring these. And you can upgrade this to a Berserker Ring Eye as well. Now the boots, I like to use the same boots for all three styles because, again, it's a hassle switching. And I only picked the Mage boots because it's the highest level I've got, because the other two boots I've got are Bendos and... Um, uh, spined boots which are really low level so this is level 75 so it gives a high defense and also it's hard to kill Rex now so you want to be maximizing your offensive uh, magic bonus so for melee you want to be using the highest level melee gear you can I like rear axe because it's got prayer bonus and it's um, pretty low cost but it does cost a, 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 while, a lot to maintain so yeah you want to decide on which is the best one to use there and the weapon well um I, supreme is weak to stab so you want to be using stab weapon zs is a good stab weapon but also you can use um say drago rapiers do you, or any drago weapons because they're extremely accurate now after the exponential update to uh offensive and defensive armor so yeah or you can use a mole, but it's not as good because it's a crush weapon, not stab weapon. So mage, you want to be using fire surge because he's weak to fire surge, and you want to be using a two-handed staff because it's uh, after the update on the 14th of January, uh, ones are really weak and they splash a lot on Rex. So you want to be using staff. Obviously, the best one is chaotic, followed by armadillo. But I like this. I like the staff of light because it saves me some runes. So yeah, Ganodermic, obviously upgrade to Virtus if you can, Sea Singers if you're really rich, and if you really want to, you can also use an Arcane Stream for higher damage. So finally, onto the range. Um, obviously Pernix is the best one to use here. Um, you can also use uh, Death Lotus if you're really pro, uh, but I like Armador, it's good armor. I've kept it since pre-EOC. For uh, necks and stuff, and the weapon crystal bear. I like to use that one because it's quite cheap, um, and it, it prime is weak to arrows, not bolts. So you want to be using arrows. Zarite bear, obviously the best one. Doesn't use any ammo, so you can use a cape. Um, if you do use royal crossbow, because it's quite a good bow, but I still recommend this one. But if you do use that one, you want to, you, you might want to use uh, accumulator because uh, you, you'll lose arrows pretty quickly so yeah and finally some add-ons you want a shield for using rejuvenate but just for one-time purposes so any shield will do I guess um, and slay helm if you're on a task and this one this restores a lot of prayer if you have bone crusher but bone crusher only works in non CS and LS so you want to be using these two when you're not CSing or FFAing uh, when you're FFAing I mean um, it's also got a handy prey bonus, but remember if you have a yak you don't really want to be wasting your bones so you might not want to use this. And if you don't have a bone crusher no worries, just pick up the bones and bury them and you'll still be able to restore a lot of prey using this. Um, and also penance lasts only one hour so you might want to think of that when you're bringing prey potions and stuff but I'll come on to that later so that's about it. Action bar, not much to say, this is my mage action bar, general stuff really. This is my two-handed melee weapon action bar. This is my range action bar. And this is my dual build action bar. I just cram all the abilities in. If I want to use defensive, I just switch here and then click them as I want to. So yeah, that's about it. On to cans.
Hello guys and welcome to my part of the guide. So in this section I will be showing you you guys how to go to DKS with lower level gear and uh, I recommend if you're going in a uh, duo or something to have the other person be a high level because otherwise you probably won't last very long. So as you can see on screen now this is my suggested setup for mage and just a few general uh, items. So first let's start with the general items. Uh, for the amulet, I recommend an amulet of glory as it's uh, available uh, as it has bonuses even for all three styles. And the second item that I recommend for all three styles is the Tokol Zo, the ring. And you get this from a uh, kiln quest. And it, uh, if you've already lost this, it costs 50k Tokol to get it back. And I really recommend it because it's an easy hybrid ring, as you can see there. And you can see here that I have melee boots even though I am in mage gear and that's because boots uh, along with all the other pieces of gear to switch can really take a long time. Uh, and as for gloves, the RFD uh, Barrows gloves I recommend as uh, yeah it's, it's quite good. And for the mage gear, here you see that I have the Ahrim sets. Uh, Barrow set and it's quite a good set. It's relatively low cost and very effective. So uh, here you can see that the staff I have gone for is an Arim staff. Though I recommend you also bring a ward, not necessarily a ward of subjugation, but a shield of some sort to just use to just so you can use the uh, rejuvenate ability. And uh, I forgot to mention the skill cape. That's a very uh, good. Uh, uh, cape item and uh, it's quite common nowadays so yeah moving on to the next setup so the next setup is going to be melee gear and I just recommend you go in guttons it's an easy switch and uh, it's high damage output for a relatively low cost and the good thing about guttons is that you also get the uh, get the chance to heal your hit uh, with the gutton set effect so for the last part, which will be the carol, not the carol, sorry, the range uh, loadout, if you will, I recommend a carol's coif for, for the head and the rest roy as royal dehyde and uh, a dark bow. I also recommend you bring an Avas accumulator or an Avas device of some sort because it really helps you uh, with your arrow collecting and arrow picking up because uh, otherwise it really is a hassle to pick up every single arrow. So now that we've all done with that, the the spell that I recommend for you guys is the highest level fire spell that you have. Here you can see that I have fire surge, but for some, you, some of you guys that might not be the case, so the closest would be perhaps fire wave. And uh, as for the ability bars, uh, they, are, they mostly follow the same trend, which is basic abilities at the start with a few uh, higher level abilities such as ultimates and thresholds and other, other abilities like... Uh, this ability here, Regenerate, which uh, allows you to heal while you're not in combat, but unfortunately you won't be able to use this in DKS because uh, you're always being attacked. And uh, this is basically the same thing. Wait, not, no, no, not, not, no, 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 not that one. Don't go to that one, guys. Go to this one. So, guys, it'll be, it all basically follows the same trend. Uh, have Rejuvenate uh, in, uh, in it. Be sure to have Rejuvenate in it. Uh, the only downside to it is that you can only use it once in five minutes and yeah that's all that I really have for the low level loadout and uh, on to the next section okay. alright guys so this part is for teams of three or more now the advantage with a team of three or more is that you can only focus on one boss at a time by using an ability called provoke which will focus the boss on you and away from all of your other teammates which are, which are fighting um, the other bosses, so they'll be weak to the boss that you're fighting. So we'll come on to tactics later, but basically this is for when you're only using one style. Now, when you're using one style, you can afford to max out your gear with, because you don't need to worry about uh, loads of get, taking loads of gear for switching and stuff. So, so the melee that I use is the Tokhau Cal, the switch uh, from the previous part. The switch is just the Tokhau Cal. Um, so I'll do Miss Whisper for the max um, strength, me melee crit. Um, I wouldn't use a CLS, but you want to be using a stab weapon, so a rapier uh, and a shield for when you're you're going on a defensive mode. But uh, 
mainly you want to be using the ZS because that has a higher DPS than one handed weapon and a shield or obviously the previous weapons that I talked about like a double triangle rapier Goliath gloves are probably the best one, Toba gloves um, Bandos boots but that's the one I can afford obviously you've got the Toba boots or Steadfasts um, Warriors ring imbued is probably the best um, or you can use a ring of wealth if you're not going uh, LS or CS um, for mage, well, there's not much to say really. Uh, switch, arcane stream is really valuable if you want to use that. Um, a wand and a shield, uh, you can use any wand you like, but Master Wand has been really nerfed. You want to be using either Virtus or Ahrims. Even Ahrims is rising massively at the moment. So, yeah, and um, God Cape is probably the best one to use there. Um, uh, the equivalent of this, so spellcaster gloves, uh, Sears rig, Ganodemic boots as before, Organo, but you know, Virtus boots if you want, or Rage Fires uh, for Virtus if you can afford it, da da da. Highest DPS you want to be using the staff. Uh, range, if you want to use, you can use Royal Crossbow, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's really weak to arrows, so Crystal Bow, Zarak Bow. Now, I can't. I, I didn't buy it, but Saradome's Murmur would be the best one to use here. And Ava, even though you're only shooting, you're not using any arrows, it's got a higher crit than this. So, yeah. Um, Archer's Ring there, obviously, Swift Gloves. I managed to obtain a pair. Um, I couldn't be bothered for the other two styles, but yeah. Now, this is much debated. The, the best one after Armadale Boots at 70 is this. It's quite cheap, but. You want to be using Armored of Boots if you can. Glavens is obviously best along with uh, Pernix, which is just a bit less effective. So, yep, that's about it. Okay, guys, and welcome to the gear setup section of this guide. And this setup will be for the single, uh, single attack style method that you may use in a, in a team of at least three, where one of you guys will be provoking each of the different bosses. So, we'll start off with Mage. For the low levels, I recommend to use the Saradomans Hiss. It's a good mage uh, amulet, and as previous, as I've mentioned previously uh, in my other section of the guide, which you guys may not have seen, I recommend to use Arims. And uh, these runes are for my ranged setup later on, so ignore those for now. A good, a good ring to use, even if it is a hybrid ring, is the Tokul Zo, which you can obtain uh, from the from the Kiln Quest. I'm not sure from the Elder Kiln Quest, sorry. And uh, if you've lost it, you can pay 50k Tokul to get it back, and it's a very good ring all round. And I recommend the Boots of Subjugation for magic boots, and a good all round uh, glove is the Barrow's gloves, and a good staff is the Arim staff. And if you want to go a bit more defensive uh, and use the rejuvenate ability as well as uh, spells, I recommend you use the Ward of Subjugation and the Master Wand. It adds a bit more defense, a bit more life, and uh, it helps you with your defense. So yeah, let's move on to the next style, which will be range. So I recommend perhaps using a Carol's Koi for just full Carol's if you want, and uh, the Dark Bow, because the Dark Bow is actually a shield bow, which means that uh, if you want to use Rejuvenate with it, you can. You can use all the defensive abilities with it. And uh, the Royal Dehyde is a good uh, defensive... Uh, it's, it's a good armor for its level. And the uh, Spine Boots are, uh, as far as I know, the best boots before Armadale for range. And as usual, uh, the rest of the gear will be uh, gloves and... And uh, Tockle Zo, and I forgot to mention as well, sorry, the Avas Accumulator can be used for easy picking up of arrows, and it'll save you a lot of time. And the Raging Amulet is a good range crit amulet, so a yeah, range style amulet. And let's move on to the final part of the, uh, of the gearing section, which will be the melee gear. Now here you see that I have a uh, spirit shield. Uh, normal spirit shield that is that I, re I recommend you would I would recommend you to use when you want to rejuvenate or something other than that I recommend you to use the Guthans war spear it's a very good spear and it allows you 
to uh, heal whatever you hit. Uh, sorry, it allows you to get a chance to heal whatever you hit if you are using the full Guthans set. And uh, Bandos boots are very good melee boots, which has been the secret to their rise uh, since the EOC. And uh, as usual, the same uh, gloves and ring. And here you see the Amulet of Glory I've used because it's a good amulet uh, for hybriding as well as uh, melee. So uh, an upgrade to this would be the Amulet of Fury if you guys want. And just finally something I forgot to mention was that if you want to just use Void it makes for easy switching uh, in this uh, scenario. And uh, uh, if you're just attacking one of the bosses you won't really get hit that much hopefully. Uh, uh, unless you are in the midst of it all and uh, using insight so yeah if you want to use void that's also a good choice for bigger uh, damage outputs and yeah guys on to the next section hey guys welcome to this part of part one where I'll be showing you the basic and ideal inventory to take to DKS um, this is this will apply to both high and low levels Ken will talk about some tweaks to the low levels so first of all you'll need anti-poison because a uh, a small monster that which will poison you, so take this, but you don't need too much because pl anti poison plus plus uh, each does last like 12 minutes, I think, so that's, that's pretty good. You can also only use vials to save some cost, but yeah. Uh, prayer renewal, pretty good, it renews more than this, and it will last a long uh, time if you take flasks as well, so two flasks will last you one hour. Um, ovals, best for tri breeding. Uh, you can probably downgrade to a brute just for your defensive boost and a restore um, if you're a low level. Um, yeah. You want to take spare pouches, um, probably less if you're a high level because the pouches last longer. So, can you want to talk about? Next? Yeah, I was gonna say um, for your, for the overloads, you guys might want to bring. I know super death pots, the lower level guys may we wish to bring uh, maybe super defense potions or something along those lines. Uh, and as for something you're probably moving on to, the prayer potions and the food. If you're lower level, you probably want to bring less prayer potions and more food uh, because you'll probably be getting uh, hit a lot more and you'll need it to last. So yeah, that's what I really wanted to say. Yeah, um, oh, don't forget your emergency tally. Now I'll be using this doubling up as a Relica tally because I've done the love story quest so I can chip it to teleport me to Relica. But obviously if you move your house there, you can just click it and get there in one go. Now, uh, this is this is the stuff from the previous part of the video. I like it. Just one row of each style, not you know massive switching and stuff like that. Don't forget your runes for magic and shield for rejuvenate. Um, this The number of potions and stuff is not fixed. Obviously, overload loss uh, five minutes each, so twenty minutes per vial and half an hour per flask. So uh, change it as you wish, as as long as you want to be there. If you're a first timer, you want to be experimenting. Nothing, take nothing as like concrete. This is what I have in my act. Pretty basic stuff. Extra anti poison, more prayer, loads of food. You want loads of food. Uh, left click option, take BOV because, yep. For emergency, you don't want to be using that. If you want to, if you run out of food, you want to be spamming this to get more out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's about it. So I'll see you guys in part two, and hope you guys found this part helpful. In part two, we'll be talking about how to get there, uh, tactics, and stuff like that. Thank you, guys.